Ladies and gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Comedy Hollywood, it's Hollywood Saturday Night. Starring Ryan Churchill, Curtis Freisel, Nick Greco, Dan Cade, Joseph Limbaugh, Bill Kessler, Jen Parker, Brett Sheridan, Jake West, and Julie Whitner. Musical guest, Celia Chavez. And your host tonight, Mindy Sterling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mindy Sterling. Wow, I'm sorry I came out a little too early. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Um, anyway, thank you so much. What a great audience. Um, well, I, uh, I have to start off uh, first. Um, I'm a little down right now. Um, <clears throat> I, um, well, the other day I auditioned for the uh, Abby Miller Dance Company. <laughs> and I guess apparently um, <clears throat> the, uh, the idea of me studying for five years, which is, you know, a lot more than anyone else in that company studied, uh, wasn't good enough. And, um, well, I guess, uh, I just didn't make the cut. Apparently, I'm not as cute or as young as they want me to be. So, um, so I ended up getting drunk and uh, <laughs> auditioning uh, for the Candy Apples, which um, I was, you know, I think they turned me down. I don't know. So, so fucked up. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I still think that I have the talent and I work really, really hard. So. Um, I was wondering if you would let me uh, dance for you and show you my audition. Um, <laughs> that way you can, you know, just you know, give me the nods or heads up that I still got it. So, um, I would uh, like uh, Jonathan. Would you uh, play something uh, very, um, yeah, pretty? <laughs> right now and uh, hopefully I'm going to be back in one piece so uh, we have a great show our musical guest is um Cela Chavez and the rest of the cast have fun get me up help me up help me up Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, crazy. Oof. 
Hey, uh, did you guys see that Super Bowl halftime show with Lady Gaga? -ga? Oh, yeah, actually I did. You know what, though? It wasn't Lady Gaga, -ga, it was Madonna. Oh, OK. I didn't see it. I, I just heard that it was Lady Gaga. -ga. Mm. It's actually Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. No, it was Madonna. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh. I noticed you've been eating a lot of banana nests lately. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to get more potassium. Hmm, yeah. I would do that too, but it's really weird. I don't even like banana nest. <laughs> you don't like banana nest? Banana nas are like my favorite food. I could eat nothing but banana nas and be completely happy with nothing just but banana nas all day long. Banana nas. <laughs> yeah, I like bananas also. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that Curtis said his first word yesterday? Oh, nice. wow, congrats. Nice. What did he say? <laughs> dad, dad, dad. <laughs> oh, my God, that's adorable. He said dad, dad, dad. Yeah. Oh, God, it would have been funny and weird if he would have called you mama, mama. Hey, dude, I, I don't care. Dad, 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 mama, 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 whichever. As long as you have 10 fingers, 10 toes. Yeah. Oh. Or if you would have said mama. What? <laughs> Dada or mama. You'll understand one day when you have kids, Dave, okay? <laughs> hey, you know who I saw at the mall the other day? Bowser. Remember? <laughs> Remember Bowser, the guy in the greaser band oh, right, in the 70s? Yes. What was the what was the band called oh, again? Yeah, <laughs> they were named after like a nonsense word that was in a song. What was what was that band what called? What was the band? What are they called? Oh, um, what was that band called? Hmm. Hmm. Shanana. Yes. <laughs> yes, that was it. Shanana. Yeah. Na 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 na. Bowser from Sha na 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 na. Good memory, Dave. Yeah, great memory. Sha na 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 And now, Acme Comedy presents Real Weird Laws of Hawaii. Excuse me, sir. Are both those alcoholic drinks in front of you yours? Yeah, double fisting it tonight. <laughs> double fisting it. Well, did you know that in the state of Hawaii, it's illegal to have more than one alcoholic drink in front of you? No. Really? Is that a real law? It seems kind of illogical and stupid. Says the man breaking the law. Don't play coy with me, criminal. You like double fisting it, eh? 
Well, you're gonna get plenty of double fisting in prison, cause you're going to jail! Dude, I cannot believe I'm turning 16 today. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Wait, it's, he's turning 16 today? Holy shit. His goddamn birthday's today? Oh, Jesus crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, well, why didn't you tell me? What, am I the goddamn birthday police? <laughs> didn't he just had a birthday, right? It was like 12 months ago. Oh, God damn Where in the hell is he shit. coming up with another God one? God damn it. Oh, oh shit. shit. He says, son yeah. of a bitch. Oh, you know what that means, don't you? We're going to have to do some kind of a crappy fun thing. Uh, make it, uh, oh, birthday bullshit. God. Make it special. Uh, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm going to uh, go over to Stu's if that's all. Happy birthday to you. you. Hey. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. To you. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever heard you guys sing before. Well, you know, it's uh, it's your birthday. It's a happy day. Yeah, it's the happiest yeah. day of your goddamn life. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. right, thanks. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim. What are you doing? What what is that? We're giving you encouragement, yeah. boy. Yeah. Congratulations, you made it. Oh. 16, right? Yeah. So you you got me encouragement. What? Oh, hello, it's love. Yeah. It's love encouragement because yeah. it's your happy day. Oh, okay. So yeah. goddamn it's, happy. Yeah. Right, look, if, if you forgot my birthday, I'm oh. going with it. It's oh. Oh. Are you kidding oh. me? Don't even go you there. Been you didn't forget me. forgot no, that no. thing How ever. How dare you? Ever. How you what is it? it is. The birthday is for February 20th. 20 20 Second, 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 and Which we have so much planned for you, so much, oh, got a lot going on, um, uh, yeah, uh, go Disneyland, we're going to take yes. you to Disneyland, yes, Disneyland, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 yeah. no, no, yeah. no, yeah. happiest to. goddamn place on earth, yeah, it is, <laughs> we don't have to, and then we're going to go to, uh, uh, uh to California Adventureland, oh, that, that's oh, it, what? that's learn it, about, yeah, learn about California, yeah. you know, we already live here, yeah, yeah lots of things to learn, yeah, four or five, yeah, canters, yeah, Hollywood sign, too much stuff, no, really, that's a pier, yeah, go on, Oh, 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 oh. The six, the sixty-two, no, the one thirty-four. Stop! We don't have to do any of that stuff. You guys hate that stuff. We don't have to go to Disneyland and all the the other stuff. You we do it for you because sunshine. we yes. yes. My you are my sunshine. sunshine. You make me happy. Which guys are great. I only know, dear, how much I love you. Okay. Please don't take my sunshine away. One more time. No, 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 no. no. No, look, I know you guys haven't always been the best at being warm and fuzzy, so you can just... Oh, boy. Oh, Are no. you kidding? Your mother... I am so look, warm right now. Are you kidding me? It's a goddamn volcano. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Your mother's a goddamn sauna. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. my warm... Jesus Come here. We're a goddamn hug factory. Come here. I love you. I love you. You're my little man. You're my little man. Look at your face right off. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Take your love. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a goddamn Norman Rockwell painting. Norman Rockwell yeah. painting, right? That's good. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah. And a song, there you go. Oh. Hugs, hugs and love and hugs and love and hugs and love and hugs and love and hugs and love. The end. There you go. Are we, are we done? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Hey, um, then I think I'm just going to go to the... You're my little man. Okay. You know what? You came out of my womb. She came out of there. Don't you forget she that. She made you. She made you in there. I can put you right back. She made you right in. She, can, she made you. She can bring you in. Yeah, I didn't want to even let no. you out. No, said, she was like, no. time to go. I, I, said, I said, all right. She was like, no. Don't take him out of my body. five months He's my body. Right. I will not let him yeah. go. Seriously. Thank you, guys. I love you. Jesus, that was...
always awkward. You got to get oh, better at our God. We have got to plan. learn on this love thing. Better. <sighs> well. Oh, my little man's growing up. This is the happiest day of my goddamn life. Don't you be there. I'm not. I'm don't not, you I'm be not, there. I'm coughing. I'm coughing. You better be coughing up a spitball. I swear to God. Don't you ever think about showing him. don't try it. I don't know what to do with Well, once again, our Hollywood Saturday Night cast members failed to get their own Oscar nominations, yet we wondered what it would be like if they gave their Oscar speeches. Here first, please welcome Nick Greco. I was actually hoping that Transformers 3 would have won, because right now I'm on mushrooms. <laughs> My roommate put the drug mushrooms in the vegetable crisper and I, hadn't, I didn't know they were there. <laughs> but I, I did make a speech only after the, the drug started fooling with my brain. Um, sir, your face is melting. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> thank you, Director. Thank you, Pencil. <laughs> thank you, Tree of Life. I have a sudden respect for that film right now. Can we show it? No? <laughs> thank you, Dragon? I um, thank you, producers. Does that hurt? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't respond. Your face is, your mouth is dripping. <laughs> um, are you sure we can't play Trail Life? Somebody, can somebody fucking cage that dragon? Seriously? Um, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Next. <laughs> 
next. Why don't you go ahead? Seriously, after all your random rantings about capitalism and Spencer, you actually are having me cut. Yeah. Okay, so you just want to be the lady who gets exasperated in line, who just rants about crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that's pathetic, right? You know that. Silver and 
ever been a cop, but there is nothing to stop us from driving to the desert and find a fallen star or two. We could buy a bottle or a ticket for the lotto or a cup of dime, a coffee, split a breakfast down in Denny's, or we could save our pennies, grab a mason jar and fill it with our own. So we can float to a heaven that rendezvous Ooh, a moon shining honey white That's the life for me In our own garden of Eden We could live rent free Kisses for currency Drunk on childhood Really? David, all of these people are here to help you because, David, you have a disease. Now, all of them have written letters that they'd like to share with you. Um, hold them. Think about that. Think about that, David. It's worth thinking about. First up is Lauren. Yes. And then after Lauren. It's me. Is. It's me. Susan. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with your glasses? <laughs> David, I, I'd like to remind you and the entire group that this is not about me. This is about you, okay? And that, that's what this process needs to be about. So why don't you let your mother, Lauren, go ahead and, and read her letter. <laughs> David, the happiest day of my life so far was the day you were born. From the day forward, things got even better as I watched you grow up. I will never forget the look on your face when you won the state championship football game. Um, your life as of now is slipping away when your teacher called me because you had passed out in class. I'm sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> me? Yes. Yes, um, could you please just stop that? Could I please stop listening empathically? No, no, all that shit that you're doing with your glasses. <laughs> Just to be clear here, this is not about me. This is about David and 
his process. So if you could just please just <laughs> please continue. Okay. Um. <clears throat> you are tearing your family apart, and this is killing us. You have <laughs> so many gifts and <laughs> are loved by so many people. What the hell are you doing? This, this, nobody does anything like that. I understand that sometimes these letters can be overwhelming, and people need to speak their truth in their own time. So if you'd like, Susan can go first, um, because it's, if that makes it easier for you. I don't want to read mine. I don't want to go. OK. Susan, why don't you want to read your letter? Can you share with your brother why you don't want to read your letter? Fine. David, I don't want to read my letter to you because he's just going to do something pretentious and or distractingly weird <laughs> with his glasses, and that's all anyone's going to be able to focus on. I think what I'd like to explore here is that I'd like to tell you about something called deflection. Now, all of us are focusing on my glasses because you need a distraction from the, the hard work that we need to do with David. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand my glasses to Lauren, and then the glasses will no longer be an issue. It won't be the glasses, but you might find that you will make something up with your mind to get distracted by. Fine. Fine. I'll read my letter. When we were kids, I idolized you. Even though I was your older sister, you were always so charming and well-liked that I wanted to be like you. No one has ever understood me like you. There are so many memories that it's hard to share just one. You're the only sibling I have, and I miss you, David. <laughs> I miss you because after all this and stealing and the broken promises, I feel like I no longer know you. What? And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jake West. Woo! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Eat shit! Seriously, my girlfriend said, hey, if you win the Oscar, you should get drunk. And I said, hey, what if I flip it and get drunk first? <laughs> Two birds, one stone, right, guys? All right, in all, in all seriousness, I'm being I'm be serious. Anybody who said I'm not a good actor, who's laughing now? You are, because if you laugh, if you laugh, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> laughing, breathing, running, talking. That was the name of the movie I was in. Laughing, shitting, farting, fucking. <laughs> Who gives a shit? It's four words. That's not a name of a movie. But running, lifting, licking, assing. <laughs> that's fucking bullshit. And there, nobody was like, hey, that's a stupid name for a movie. Like, I gave him Oscars. I'm going to see it five times and drag my boyfriend. <laughs> Great, that's fine with me. About a, uh, about a blind man who's in a coma who solves cancer. How do, you, how do you solve cancer in your coma? <laughs> nobody, nobody was like, hey, that's impossible. They were like, I'm going to see it 18 times because it's the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> all right, go ahead. See, shit your money away, assholes. It's fine with me. Listen, in all seriousness, I'm going to break it down for a minute. I'm going to tell you guys a secret about Harvey Weinstein. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. Look, he's a great guy. I love him like your brother. I love him like your brother. I love him like your brother. But in all serious, in all serious, God. Harvey Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein smells like peppermint at all times. <laughs> and it's not perfume. I think he has a condition. No, I'm I think he has gout. I think he has, he has peppermint flavor gout. I don't want, listen, I don't mean, I'm not saying that to be an asshole. I'm saying I don't want him to explode like a watermelon when he falls four feet in a peppermint explosion. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby? Hey, I just won the Oscars. 
Hey, I just want to say, um, I love you. I miss you so much. I wish you were here. I wish you hey, were here. I'm in the audience. We came here together. I can hear you very clearly. <laughs> it's a great reception. Listen, I hope one day I can tell you to your face, but you mean everything to me. I love you. And, uh, I love you. I'm so sorry. In conclusion, this country was founded. Ask a song means get off stage. In all seriousness, this country was founded. I like to think the academy. Forgive me the chance to talk about myself. This country was founded on the belief that one man can make a difference. But hey, guess what? If you flip it, this country makes a difference for one man. So like, if you look at it from another perspective, it means the same thing, but from a different person who's also looking at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Think about it. <clears throat> All right, I'm done. Good night, everybody. Gotta start making their free throws. Mm, mm. A lot of time left. A lot of time left. Yeah. Yeah. So did you uh whatever happened with you and that girl last night? What did you what did you do? Did you did you did you bang did you bang her? You banged her? I did. You did? I did. Oh I did. <laughs> proper yeah, yeah, yeah. buddy! <laughs> The cheek was that. <laughs> what? You just you just faced into you, you face bumped me. You face bumped my fist bump. So okay. good. Uh, so it's just it's just weird. Why didn't you use your fist? You put your fist near my face and my hands are full. Oh, D Rose. Mm, sick, oh, dunk. sick dunk. Sick dunk. Sick Love dunk, that kid. Man. Uh, gross dumpster yes. dunk. Nasty dunk. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I like. Whoa. Dude, what is with you and the face bumps, bro? What? I just can't leave you hanging. I had to do something. Uh, yeah, but this time you closed your eyes and you gently nuzzled my fist. <laughs> you are a fist nuzzler. That's not even a real thing, all right? It, it's just... Oh! Come on. Yes! Yes! Uh, oh! Yes! Great yes. uh, right play. Yes! Right play. Yep, right see? Play. It's a thing. It's a thing. You just did it. My hands Again. are Again. So put down the pizza. I have a good fold going right here. <laughs> then put down the beer. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, bro. <laughs> oh! Yes! Uh, Come on town! Yes. yes! Nice! Perfect. Nice! Nice! Okay. Nice. Just, yeah. Come on. Uh, no, I, 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 I. Dude! What? Dude! Dude, alright, alright. Here's the deal. I prefer traditional fist bumps. Okay? Man? Alright? I want some knuckle to knuckle action. Okay? That's what bros do when bros watch games, knuckle to knuckle action. That's what I like. Dude. You're really weird about this. Well, I'm weird about this. You, you're you weird about it bringing the face into the situation. <laughs> I will give you a traditional fist bump when my hands are not full, okay? Okay. Mm. Dude, this season is awesome. Totally nuts. They should do a schedule every year. Mm-hmm. Oh! Dang! Dang, Dang, he's an all-star, yeah. he's an all-star. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, oh, they're bringing Scalabrini. Yeah. White Mamba, Scalabrini. White Mamba. White Mamba. Yeah! Oh, oh, no! What? No. Ah, what? I, you know, what? I don't even know what is with you, Pablo. But I, I'm done, okay, man? It's not right. I can't, your lips. Saliva is on my knuckles. I'm out. Pops! Oh, what's up, man? 
Yo, yo, Scooch. Yeah. Bulls winning. Up 20. White Mamba's in. Nice! Yeah, right here. Oh. Oh. sex with a cow, a horse, a chicken, a pig, and or a goat. Completely legal. Absolutely 100% legal. Michigan. Sex. Farm. Legal. Cow. Horse. Goat. Chicken. Pig. Cow. Michigan. Legal. Farm. Sex. Chicken. Legal. Farm. Goat. Cow. Sex. Horse. Legal. Cow. Michigan. Duck. Legal. Next on the Oprah Winfrey Network, Deep Insight with Julie Wintner. Hello, thank you for being here. This is Deep Insight and I'm Julie Wintner and with me today is renowned character actress Mindy Sterling. Welcome, Mindy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, um, it's nice to be here, Julie. It's great having you. So on this show, Deep Insight, we get a little deeper. We like to talk about a little more serious topics. And if it's all right with you, I would like to talk about your experience with cancer. Oh, uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I am 14 years clean. Wow. And yay. Um, and uh, I just think it's important to talk about it and share and um, help others find the humor in it um, so you can get through it a lot easier. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm not an expert uh, in the field, but I can't help but noticing that breast cancer uh, cases seem to be uh, more prominent in women than men. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> earlier that it's important to have a sense of humor. Yes, um, I think that dealing with cancer, that is very important. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, is that why you chose breast cancer, because boobies are funny? <laughs> you know, uh, there are so many things wrong with that statement. Um, and uh, no, I uh, did not choose breast cancer. Um, and I think 10-year-old boys think that boobies are funny. <laughs> <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Mindy, you're a female comedian of sorts. Well, I mean, not of sorts. I am a okay. female comedian. Well, my question to you then is, <laughs> we all know how women can be. Is there a lot of jealousy and backstabbing in the female cancer comedian community? <laughs> Or the FCCC, as I like to call it. <laughs> okay, that doesn't exist. Okay, there's nothing like that around. But so. if it did, who would get your vote for female cancer comedian idol? What? Yes. <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> Tell us about how you're involved today with charities. 
Well, uh, thank you for getting back to that. Um, yes, um, I, um, I won Woman of the Year last year in the oh. LA district for uh, the Leukemia Lymphoma oh. Society, and I raised oh. almost $60,000. Oh, yeah. holy smokes. Yeah. I, I noticed on one of the websites that one of their slogans was cancer bites. <laughs> Well, it does. I mean, it's, you know, it sucks, it's pretty bad, and, uh, you know, that's why I think it's important to have that sense of humor mm -hmm. to help you deal with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So if someone with cancer were to bite me, um, <laughs> is there some kind of shot that I could get to prevent me from getting cancer rabies? Uh, can, uh, someone with cancer is not going to bite you. Well, don't bite me. <laughs> um, what I mean is, uh, biting is probably the number one cause of cancer rabies. Okay, yes? you know what? There is no cancer rabies. <laughs> I think you can only get that if an animal bites you. Uh, so right. uh, I don't even know where your research is going from. <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculous. I like you. <laughs> you to say something funny. You know, why don't I just tell the audience that um, if you'd like to get involved in one of the cancer organizations, um, you can volunteer. They love that. Or donate money so you can just go on the internet. Yeah, that's surprising because that wasn't really very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Acme Saturday Night News, the world's least trusted news source. I'm Dan Kane. Our top story tonight, the FBI has arrested a man who was planning to bomb the U.S. Capitol yesterday. And since then, the FBI switchboard has been flooded with calls from angry voters demanding that they let the suspect go through with it. That's right, congressional approval ratings are at an all-time low. As President Obama wrapped up a fundraising trip to Southern California yesterday, the restricted airspace around his entourage was violated by a small plane. After fighter jets escorted the plane to the ground, officials found 22 pounds of marijuana on board. Talk about flying high. <laughs> the pilot told the Secret Service he wasn't trying to harm the president, he was just trying to drop off his annual campaign contribution to the Democratic Party. <laughs> and he had heard there are some bitchin' snacks on Air Force One. <laughs> in other political news, Polls continue to show that Mitt Romney is behind in Michigan, the state where his father was a two-term governor. But don't worry, every business problem has a solution. Romney's super PAC has announced it will open 200 new auto plants in that state. Auto workers will get three-hour workday, season tickets to the Lions, and a paid vacation on election day. <laughs> problem solved. Memorial services for Whitney Houston were held in Newark, New Jersey this morning. Many celebrities had traveled there to attend where they were visibly upset, obviously due to Whitney's passing, but mostly due to the realities of waking up in Jersey. <laughs> if you missed the live coverage of the service, here are a few highlights. Kevin Costner showed up with a bodyguard. <laughs> Ironic, right? But as mentioned, it's Jersey. 
Tyler Perry was initially turned away because no one recognized him. But after he changed, he was let right in. <clears throat> Bobby Brown walked out after a dispute with security over seating arrangements. I think we all saw that one coming. And Dionne Warwick said, she spoke to Whitney this morning, and Whitney didn't want Bobby there anyway. <clears throat> America's Got Talent started auditions this week for its 2012 season, and new judge Howard Stern reportedly buzzed a nine-year-old contestant on the first day, not by pressing his buzzer, but just by breathing on the youngster in the hallway. Aww. And in news from the Magic Kingdom, the Disney Corporation has announced that its employees are now allowed to grow facial hair, a practice that was previously forbidden among those having any contact with theme park visitors. And while the change seems like the start of a new era for the company, we're pretty sure beards are not a new thing at Disney. <laughs> and finally tonight, in sports news, Olympic champion snowboarder Sean White scored the first perfect score in the Winter X Games in history in the men's snowboard superpipe finals. White scored 100 out of 100 points, and when asked how he would celebrate, he just giggled and kept repeating, super pipe. <laughs> That's it for this edition of the Acme News. I'm still Dan Cain. Once again, please welcome Sela Chavez.
style. <laughs> my life. I lost my clothes. Oh. It was so horrible and so traumatic. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but you really didn't answer my question because losing all your clothes doesn't automatically lead to you wearing a barrel. I was on the freeway going 70 yeah. and uh, I, I blew a tire on the car and uh, the car spun out of control and crashed directly into a medium. That's, that's terrifying. Yeah. So... Why are you wearing a barrel? Because, honey, let me tell you the story, all right? Um, I lost all my clothes. And yeah, I all was right, we established that, but there are a lot of intermediate steps between losing all your clothes and settling on a barrel as a substitute. I almost died! Right, right. Oh, you poor thing. You, you poor thing. Where did you find a barrel? <laughs> What comes in barrels anymore? Listen to me. Listen to me! I wanted to tell you this. When it happened, and um, the car was careening towards the wall, my whole life flashed before me, sweetheart, and all I could think of at that moment was how much I loved you. Where did you get suspenders? <laughs> Nobody wears suspenders and then you adhere them somehow to a barrel. Were you carrying like a crimping tool and a button fastener and like a blowtorch? It doesn't make any... Wearing a barrel is like from old cartoons and black and white movies from the 30s, but it's 2012, you're not one of the Marx Brothers. The car caught on fire, and I ran through three lanes of the freeway, and I dove into a ditch, and the car then exploded. I want to hear this part. First explain to me why it wasn't easier to fashion substitute clothes out of old newspapers, or like a trash bag, or something. Okay, in the car, it exploded, all right? And, and I had this, this heat wave of, of, of fire engulfing me, and I, I fell to the ground, and uh, my clothes were charred, and, and I lay there naked on the side of the road. Did this road happen to be next to Larry King's house? and a Depression-era general store that sold pickles in bulk? No. I just want to understand. I'm honestly curious. Wouldn't it have made more sense just, just to steal clothes from, like, a clothesline? I know people don't really use clotheslines anymore, but they use them more than barrels! I am not talking to you right now. I am going to set the table, and maybe I will talk to you later. so that it rests right above your chest like that. <laughs> and why are we eating? Aren't you full from the pie you stole that was on a windowsill to cool? <laughs> Please. 
please just tell me. I have to know you had the raw skill and intelligence to manufacture a functional garment out of a barrel, but not the presence of mind to realize there are literally millions of better options. How can a person be so simultaneously brilliant and stupid at the same time? Please tell me. Why, why, I cannot envision a scenario where this was your best option. I honestly, honestly, I cannot envision a scenario where this was an option after 1952. Wait, stop talking or I am going to do something I will regret. horrible trauma, and it is so unfair that you won't answer my one simple question. <laughs> Why are you wearing a barrel? Okay, you know what, that's it. All right. I'm going to leave you right now. Uh -huh. I am going to pack my things, and I am gone. Sweetie, sweetie. Mr. Ryan Churchill. I, I am honored to receive this award. And I, I, I guess I've reached a, a pinnacle, a, a career crest, if you will. And, and, and I ask myself, where, where do I go? Where do I go from here? And I'll tell you, I am just going to get weird. <laughs> I am just going to get odd, odd, odd. I am going to do really weird things, like I want to buy Angela Lansbury's finger and or toenails and keep them in a ball canning jar next to my bed, and I'm going to rinse one down every night with a shot of Jameson, because it helps me get into character. For what role? The role of life. I am going to get weird. And I'm going to buy a covey of fruit bats from Nicaragua and keep them in Ed Bagley Jr.'s shed. And he and I can roll in them because it's organic skin moisturizer. I, I am going to get weird and I'm going to spend six months of my life in Niger and adopt one of those little boys with flies on his eyeball and name him, and name him Dan and teach him how to play tennis really well. So he can become the next Federer and piss off all those racist tennis bastards. <laughs> and the, that's actually not really that weird. That's, uh, that's not too weird. It's tough. It's already tough to be weird. Pacino, Al, how do you do it, buddy? You are good and weird. And, and I admire that. All right. There, I, I like this song. All right. What is that? I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, Love it. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. Heard you got a parking ticket today. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. There it is. You always say that when you're angry. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Let's go for a hat trick. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Bingo. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Yeah, I'm kind of over it. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. I love it again. Now slower. Yo. <laughs> Faster. Shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Now auto tune it. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. <laughs> Stop it, you're gonna make me squeeze. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Squeeze. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Now say it in Spanish. They had they a blog, Ronnie. <laughs> now say it like a question. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Now do it like B-52 style. If you see a faded sign by the side of the road that says, yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Oh, yeah. 
No, do it backwards. Ronnie, I'll fuck the shut, yo. <laughs> no, actually do it backwards. You know our puck up at pus I? Now let's go in between. Yo, I shut can't the get fuck enough up of Ronnie. This. I can't get enough of this. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. I can't get enough of this. What are you gonna do about that parking ticket? Probably gonna pay it. Mm.